Welcome to the Bronx Science Drama Department's spring production of Almost Maine. I'm director Cassandra Ng. I'm assistant director Grace Lim. This is the first school production that will be performed over Zoom. We are excited for you to watch the product of months of hard work. Without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Pete, I... Yeah? I just am having a really nice time tonight. Pete. I'm, I'm glad, Jeanette. And I always do with, with you. Yeah, I'm glad. And as daughters are just, I didn't know you knew all that stuff after all this time. I... Well, it's, it's nothing. It's just stuff my dad taught me is all. Pete. Yeah? I love you. I, um, I love you too. Oh, oh. Oh, are you cold? Do you want to go inside? No, no. I just want to sit like this, close. I feel so close to you tonight, Pete. It's nice being close. It's safe. I mean, I could think of other ways of being close, but that's not, I like this right now, this kind of close next to you. Actually, I think I'm about as close to you as I could possibly be. Well, not really. What? Not really. I mean, if you think about it in a different way, maybe you're not really close to me at all. Maybe you're really actually about as far away from me as you could possibly be. I mean, think about it like this. Technically, if the world is round like this snowball and I'm sitting here and you're sitting next to me right here, then that's far. Yeah. Oh, but now you're closer. Yeah. And and closer. And and closer and closer and closer and Is there something? Can I do something for you? Oh, I uh, no. I'm just here to see the Northern Lights. Okay. Uh, well, it's just it's awful late, and you're in my yard. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was in anybody's yard. I, I thought I was just in some random field. Yeah, it used to be a potato field, but now it's my yard. Oh, um. Well, you have a really big yard. Sure, I guess. Well, I, I hope you don't mind that I'm here. I'll only be here tonight. I'll see them tonight, the Northern Lights, and then I'm sorry, I'll is come. that a tent? Yes. You pitched a tent. Do I have a place to sleep after I see them? You see, I didn't know I was anybody. Sorry, I, I hope you don't mind. It's not that I mind. You mind? Well, I don't know. Oh no, I I think you mind. No, no, really, it's not that I mind. No, 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 you do, you do mind. I, you see, I, I didn't think you would. I did. I didn't think. I, you see, it says in your brochure that um that people from Maine live life the way life should be, and um in the tradition of their brethren in rural northern climes like Scandinavia, they'll just they'll let cross-country skiers and, and bikers and hikers just camp out in their yards they need to for nothing. Well, I'm a hiker. 
Is it true? Oh, would you let a hiker camp out in your yard if they needed to? Because I need to camp out because I'm, I'm where I need to be. I'm from a part of the country that's a little closer to things. Never been this far north before or east. And um, did you know that Maine is the only state in the country that's only attached to one other state? Well, it is, and it feels like the end of the world. <laughs> and um, here I am at the end of the world and um, I have nowhere to go. So I was counting on staying here. I mean, unless it's not true. I mean, is it true? Oh, I mean, would you let a camper who's where she needed to be just camp out in your yard for free? I, I really don't know. I mean, if a person really needed to, like really, really needed to. Well, if a person really needed to, then. Oh, oh God, thank you so much, thank you so much. The woman rushes and hugs the man. Oh, um, <laughs> sorry about that, sorry. Yeah. Uh, um, no it's just that I, I really need to be here and do this, so. Thanks. So, we just get a... Oh no. Oh God, um, I need that. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah, of course. So you're just here to see the Northern Lights stuff? Yeah just tonight well, you know you might not see them tonight because you never really know oh, no, i'll gonna... see them tonight because this is the right time solar activity is at an 11 year peak and i'm in a good place i mean your latitude is good well as good as it can be under the circumstances i mean i was going to go up to a higher latitude like up north to canada somewhere but i forgot to renew my passport and um Alaska is just way too far away. So of the lower 48 states that see the Northern Lights regularly, this was the closest. So I flew and I took a bus and I hiked to get here. And anyways, everything's in order and, and boy, have you got good sky for seeing them. It's just so big and dark. And it's flat here. No trees in the way. Well, it used to be a potato farm. Oh. Makes for a big sky. Yeah. So, um, you're a farmer? Oh, no, no. It used to be a farm. I'm a repairman. Oh. Yeah, fix things. <laughs> Oh. What? Um, you're not a lobster man? No. <laughs> um, well, I, I, I guess I thought that everyone from Maine was um, a lobster man and, and talked in that funny way like they do in Maine, but um, you don't talk that way. No, you're not down there. You're up here. And oh. real accents up here. Oh. Plus, the ocean's a couple hundred miles away. It'd be an awful long ride to work if I was a lobster man. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, well, anyways, thank you. Thanks for, um, Letting me stay here and do what I need to do. It's 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 important that I do it, and um, I've had a pretty rough go of things lately, and and so I just really appreciate your kindness and all of your understanding. Suddenly, the man is hugging the woman. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be too forward. Um, it's just you seem sad. Uh, and also, I love you. Huh? 
Yeah, I saw you from my window, and I love you. Um. Okay. Well, uh, that's nice of you to say, but but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not here for that. No, I didn't think that you were. I'm here to pay my respects to my husband. Oh. Yeah. My husband. Wes. I'm here to say goodbye because he died recently. Oh, please. Yeah. On Tuesday, actually. And, um... The Northern Lights... Did you know this? The Northern Lights are, are really supposed to be the, the torches that the recently departed carry with them to find their way home to heaven and, and see it takes us all three days to find its way home. And this is it. Today is Friday. This is the third day. So you see, I, I will see them because they're him. They'll be carrying one of the torches. And see, I... I didn't leave things especially well with him, and so I, I just wanted to say goodbye and, and and. But I think what you just did there a second ago, I think that's going to get in the way of me saying goodbye to him. I think or something, and so maybe I should go find another yard and. Um, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what just happened. Well, I do. I know what happened. No, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm not the kind of person that usually does that kind of thing. Please, maybe just. Consider what I did a, 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 more, a warm main welcome or something. You know what? I'm just going to leave you and let you do what you need to do. All right? All right. All right. Uh, just call her. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, um, Thanks for letting me stay. I really appreciate it. Um, I am, my name is Glory, just so you know. Hi, Glory. Hi. East. Huh? It's East, for, short for Easton, the town a little way, that way where I was born. Mess up on the birth certificate. Uh, son, Easton, born in the town of Matthew, Maine, January 6, 1997. You know, instead of the other way around. Oh. Well, uh, happy birthday. A few weeks late. Thanks. So, Easton. Yeah? Yeah, I passed through near there on my way here and by the way, where is here? I couldn't find it on my map. Almost. Huh? Township 13, range 7. You're not going to find it on any of the maps because it's not actually a town. Well, what do you mean? You, you see, to get organized, like you got to get organized to be a town, and you never actually got around to being organized, so you're just almost. Uh, well, anyways, like I said, uh, holler if you need anything. Okay. Thanks. Oh, God. Oh, God. My, my, my heart, my heart. Your heart? <laughs> you have my heart. It's in that bag. It's in that bag. My heart. Can oh, my God. Oh, please, um, can I get my heart back? Please, it's in that bag. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, did you just say that? Did you just say that your heart is in that bag? Is that what you just said, that your heart? Yes. Heavy. I guess. What happened to it? It's broken. Great. Wes broke it. Your husband? Yeah. He um, went away. Oh. With someone else. Oh, no. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. And um, when he did that, I, 
I felt like my heart would just break and, and that's exactly what happened. It hardened up and, and broke in two and it hurt so bad that I had to go to the hospital. But, but when I got to the hospital, they said that they would need to take it out. And when they took it out, they dropped it on the floor and it broke into 19 pieces. Slate, it, it turned to slate. Great blue there. Like, if your heart isn't that bad, how are you? Really? Yeah, because uh, uh, the real one's broken, and there's always a shortage of real hearts for transplants, so I got an artificial one. Are you about that one? Well, it's... It's my heart. No, I mean, why do you need to carry it around with you in that bag like that? Well, I, I, I don't usually, but um, since it's the one that loved Wes, I figured I might want it with me when I say goodbye to him or something. So I... It's broken. I know, but-, but Because of him. Yeah. Because he left you. Yeah, I really- Are you paying your respects to him if he left you? Because that's what you do when a person dies, you pay them respects. Yeah, but it seems to me a man that leaves someone doesn't deserve any respect. Well, I, I just didn't leave things well with him, and so I, I need to apologize to him. Why should you apologize? Because. Because why? Because I killed him. Oh. Oh. And I, I need to apologize. To him. See, I, I was doing, it was almost a year after my recovery and I was doing almost as good as I was before, doing almost all the things I used to be able to do and, and then Wes just, just shows up at my place one day and, and says he wants me back and, and I said, Wes, I have a new heart now, it doesn't want you back and that just killed him. I didn't kill him. You didn't kill him. Well, yes, I did, kind of, because my new, he was so upset that my new heart didn't want him back that he, he just, she just tore out of there and he ran into the street and, and then a bus was coming and it didn't see him and he didn't see it and it just took him out and if I had just, if he just taken him back, if I had just taken him back, then he oh, wouldn't have been I cannot like that, and so I just, I just wanted to come here and, and say goodbye. Not as a sad ex-wife at some big public service, but just privately, you know, and, and, and. East comforts her with another hug. Then Glory suddenly kisses East. Oh God, I'm, I'm so sorry I did that. No, no, don't be. I'm so sorry. I... No, no, don't, don't be, don't be, I love you. What? No. Yeah. No. Why not? Because I won't be able to love you back. I have a heart that can pump my blood and that's it. The one that does all the other stuff. It's, it's broken. It doesn't work anymore. He suddenly kisses Glory. What happens? What? No. It's broken. Yeah, but it's my heart. I... It's, it's no good like this. Please? No. Give it back to me now. No, it, it doesn't work. But it's my heart. Yes, it is. And I have it. And I can fix it. I'm a repairman. I repair things. That's what I did. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They're so beautiful. Wes, Wes, goodbye. I'm so sorry, Wes, I, goodbye, Wes.
Hello. Sandrine. Jimmy. Hey. 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 How are you doing? Hey. Um, I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Great, great. How are you doing? Great, great. Uh, how are you? <laughs> great, great. How are you? Great. <laughs> that's that's great. Yeah. That that's great. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Uh, you look great. Oh, um, you. thanks. You look so great. Thanks, Jimmy. So pretty. Thanks. So pretty. Uh, here, have a seat. Oh, uh, I can't. Oh, come on, I, I haven't seen you in well, months. Yeah. <laughs> months and months and months and months and months and months and months how does that happen live in the same town as somebody somebody you never see him um i don't know I, I mean i haven't seen you since the night before that morning when i woke up and you were just gone yeah um i oh, you tucked away in that corner over there lucky i found you so is the man and his lovely lady ready for another drink Oh, no, we're not together. Um, we're all set, thanks. All set. Okay. Yeah, we're all good. Uh, okay. Uh, well, holler if you need anything. Thanks. No, 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 you really got to holler. It's busy up front. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you, you here with anybody? Yeah, um, the girls, you know, girls uh -huh. night. Um, Actually, I was just sitting back from the bathroom. I should really head back to them. Come on, but I haven't seen you. They'll survive without you for a minute or two. Why don't you, what's been going on? What's um, been well. Um, uh, did you know I took over my dad's business? Yeah, yeah, I heard that. I run it now. Yeah, uh, uh, that's I'm great. Congra the, uh, congratulations, oh, good for oh, you. Thanks. Good for you. Yeah. We still do heating and cooling. Yeah. And we've expanded now. We do rugs. We shampoo them. Oh. It's a lot of work. A lot of work. I'm on call a lot. Uh, weekends, holidays, you name it. Because, you know, heat goes, people die. It's serious. Yeah. Yeah. L like I do Thanksgiving, Christmas. Because I let the guys who um, help me, like East helps out with the repairs sometimes. I let them have the day off to be home with their families since I'm all alone this year. Oh. Yeah. I, I really don't have anybody anymore. Um, my, my brother and sister got canned, so they left town. Um, yeah, right. And mom and dad retired, headed south. Yeah, I heard that. Vermont. Oh. Winters there are a lot easier. And, and I don't know if you heard, but then Spot went and died on me. Oh. Jimmy, I didn't know that. He was old. It was his time. He was a good fish, though. So, like I was saying, I, I really don't have anybody anymore, really. And so, so I, I was wondering, would you like to come over? Oh. Uh, <laughs> fun. You could catch up, hang out. Yeah, no. I, I really can't. Yep. Friday night Moose Patty special drinks are free if you're sad. So if you're sad or if you two little lovebirds want another drink, you just let me know, okay? Yeah, no, we're okay. um Okay. Okay. So what do you say? Do you want to come over for fun? Uh no, I really should get back to the girls. No. Nah. Yeah. Jimmy, yeah, um, I gotta, cause um, uh, I've been meaning to tell you this for a while now. Um, there's a guy, Jimmy, I've got a guy. 
Oh. Yeah. Wow. Well, good for you. Getting yourself back out there. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah. Um, well, it's a bit more than me getting myself out there and moving on. Um, this is my bachelorette party. I'm getting married. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's... I thought you said you weren't going to go do that. Get married. I thought you said it wasn't for you. You told me. Because it just wasn't for you with me. So, who's the lucky guy? Um, Martin LeFerrier. You know him. The, um... The ranger guy over in Ashland, yeah. Yeah. Wow. He's a legend. Legendary. I mean, if you're stuck on a mountain in Maine, he's the guy you want to go and find, go searching for you. Yeah. If you're stuck out there in the big, bad northern world, Martin the Ferry is the guy you want to go out there and find you. Yep. And he found you. Yeah. Um, listen, I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I actually thought you would have known. I thought you would have heard. How would I have heard? Well, uh, you know, people talk. Not about things they know you don't want to hear. No, they don't. I gotta be honest with you, this is not something I would have wanted to hear. So, when's the big event? Uh, tomorrow. Really? Yep. Well then. Hey! Uh, hey, what you doing? Getting her waitress, she said to holler. What's her name again? I don't know. She's new hey. here. What are you doing? <laughs> we got to celebrate. You got found and, and you deserve it. He's quite the guy. Thanks. And so are you. I, I, I mean, you're quite the girl, woman, person. Thanks, Jimmy. Hey. Uh, whoa, uh, what's that? What? That. Oh, nothing. Tattoo. What? Hey, tattoo. Well, hey. when did you get that? After you left. Oh, hey. okay. Well, then what's it of? What does it say? Nothing. Nothing. Would you show me? <sighs> Villian. Villain. Who's Villian? Villain. It's supposed to say villain. Well, it doesn't say villain. It says <sighs> villain. I know. I spelled it wrong. What? You spelled it wrong. It's supposed to say villain, but it says villain. Okay. Well, then why does it say villain? Why would you want a tattoo that says villain? Because. Because why? Just because. Just because why? Just because. When, when a guy's got a girl like you, I, I mean, losing a girl like you, driving a girl like you away is... Jimmy, you didn't drive me away. It's criminal. It's criminal. It's villainy. And it should be punished. So I marked myself a villain so girls would stay away so I'd never have to go through again what I went through with you. Can I kiss you? No. Hey. Said no. Sorry. Um, you could get that removed, you know. Yeah. Oh, my better head. Yeah. Hey, 
Um, I'm glad you got found. Thanks, Jimmy. Hey, sorry, you were weaving me down. Sorry, but it's so busy in the front. There's a bachelorette party. Those girls. Good thing it's not drink free if you're glad, because those girls are wicked glad. But hey, I found you. So, what do you need? Another bud? I'm okay. I'm good, thanks. Well, pal. Well, um, remember, like I said, Moose Patty special, drink free if you're sad. Just uh, tell me you're sad and you'll drink free. Say the word, because I can tell from sad and you're looking pretty sad. Well, my name's Villian if you need anything. Just ask for Villian. Villian? Yeah? Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm not sad. I just would like another bud. All right. Villian. Yeah? I'm glad you found me. Oh, I'm glad you found me. That's adorable. Yeah. No, nope, you're not. I just smashed you with an ironing board. Are you hurt? No. Oh, you must be. I just smashed you. Where did I get you? In the head. In the head? Oh, come here. Oh, are you okay? Well, is there any blood? No. Any discoloration? No. Then I'm okay. Well, you know, I'm gonna go get you some ice. No, wait, um, I can't feel things like that. Oh, well, like what? Like, when I get hit in the head with an iron board, I don't get hurt. What are you talking about? I can't feel pain. Oh, jeez, I'm crow, what the hell have I done to you? Nothing. Oh, listen to you, you're talking loopy going on about not being able to feel pain? I mean, that's delusional. I, no, I knocked the I, sense right out of you. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. You know, I was gonna be a nurse, so I know. You took a good shot to the head. You're hurt. I mean, who are you serious? No, I um I don't I don't think it's that serious because see, ironing boards aren't on my list of things that can hurt you. So I don't think I could get hurt by one. And plus there's no blood or discoloration. So I think I'm okay. Oh, what a, well, you can be hurt without being. And, and it's, the list is pretty reliable because my brother Rob is helping me make it. And as I said, ironing boards aren't on this list. So I'll bet they couldn't hurt you. Like, I can prove it to you. See, what? that didn't hurt. Ow! Oh. What the hell did you do that oh, for? It, um... It did Hi. hurt, didn't it? Ow. Oh, um, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, di I didn't think it would because, um, as I said, there aren't on this list of things that can hurt you, so. What are you talking about? I didn't, I didn't think they'd hurt. Well, you know, that ironing board hurt me. So I should put it on my list? Yeah. All right. Should I be afraid of ironing boards? Well, if someone swings it at you and walks you in the head with it, then yeah. Well, um, I have this list of things to be afraid of, too. So I was just wondering if I should also put it on here. And I guess well, I should, right? Well, they shouldn't be really. 
No. No, I mean, you shouldn't be afraid of iron dwarves. But they can hurt me. Well, if someone uses it in the way, then that you use it, then yeah. So I should be afraid of ironing boards? No. So I shouldn't be afraid of ironing boards. But they can hurt me. Well, yeah. Yes. Hmm. Man, this is getting very confusing. What is? This whole business of learning what hurts and what doesn't hurt and what to be afraid of and what not to be afraid of. Sure, you're okay. I mean, you just keep going yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, easy stuff. I have, I have congenital analgesia, he thinks. Oh, what? Congenital analgesia. Who thinks? My brother, Rob. Some people call it congenital insensitivity to pain, but it all just means I can't feel pain. You can try if you wanted to see. Uh, no. See? Ow. See? Stop. See? Go ahead and try. No. no. Come on. No. Come on. No. All right. You don't have to hit me. Most people don't. Most people just uh, go away. My brother Rob says I should stop telling people about myself because they get scared. I've actually recently thought about putting myself on this list of things to be afraid of, but... Uh, hmm. Oh, oh my God, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. You, I, you I just clapped you. Most people go away, but you <laughs> hit me. I had to see if, uh, uh, but, but are you okay? Um, yeah, I can't feel pain. Can't feel pain, right, of course you're okay, but I mean, are you sure? Well, is there any blood? No. Any discoloration? No. Then I'm okay. Well, buddy, you can be hurt and not even look like it. But. Trust me. You know, there are things that hurt you that, you know, leave you bruised and bloody, and there are things that hurt you that don't leave you bruised and bloody, and they all hurt. I'm, uh, uh my name's Marvlin. Oh, hi, Marvlin. I'm Steve. Uh, hi, Steve. Uh, yeah, I just moved in. I'm new to the building. I don't know that many people. Uh, what room are you in? Second floor, room three. Oh, we're on the third floor, room seven. Oh, yeah, so that's right above us. We saw you and your husband move in. Oh, that's not my husband. That's, um, that's just my boyfriend, no, Eric. <laughs> oh. Yeah, our roof collapsed from all the snow back in December, so now we're just here until we can get our feet back on the ground. Oh, oh, that's, that's really good, because that's what Ma Dudley says this boarding house is for a place where people can get their feet back on the ground. Um, my brother Rob says we've been trying to get our feet on the ground our whole lives. Oh. Yeah, it, um, it takes some people longer to do that than others. Yeah. You guys are loud. Uh -huh. You and Eric, you yell and bang. We're right below you. Oh, oh my God. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Um, you know, we're uh, going through a rough patch. It happens. Sorry. What's it like? What's what like? To not feel pain. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it's like to feel pain, so I don't know. Is this how you were born? Um, yeah. I was born with immature pain sensors, my brother Rob says. And because they're immature, he says that my development as a human being has been retarded. But uh, he teaches uh, me what hurts, though. Uh, how does he know that? Why? He reads. 
and he he teaches me what hurts so I won't ruin myself. My my body doesn't know what being hurt is, so my mind don't doesn't know what it's like to be afraid. And so I have to teach myself to be afraid in order to anticipate being hurt. Okay. And I also have to teach myself what hurts. Um Things to be afraid of, uh, like, hold on, let's see. We've got bears and guns and knives and fire and fear. You should fear, fear itself. And um, let's see, pretty girls. Uh, pretty girls. Yeah. Why should you be afraid of pretty girls? Well, um, cause my brother Rob says, um, they can hurt you because they make you love them. Uh, what? But he also says I'm lucky because, um, you know, that's something else that hurts too, love, but I'll probably never have to experience love because uh, I have a lot of about never gonna have to not very many experience love. What are you, why? Um, because it hurts. It shouldn't. And I have a lot of deficiencies and not very many capacities as a result. You know what? Of a lot of people do. Suddenly, Marvelin is kissing Steve. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, are you? Are you all right? Are you okay? Well, uh, is there? Any blood? No. Any um discoloration? No. Then I'm okay. Yeah. yeah, you are. I'm so sorry I just did that. It's just I mean you're just very sweet. But but you have a boyfriend. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. Eric, right? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And, and you're his girlfriend, right? Yeah. And if he's your boyfriend and you're his girlfriend, you two must love each other, right? Yeah, uh, very much. But you just kissed me? Yeah, yep, and, I did. And you're doing your laundry on a Friday night? Yep, I am. And that's, that doesn't make sense because people who love each other, they don't kiss other people and do their laundry on Friday nights. I've learned that. Uh, they, they go to the moose patty on Friday nights or they go dancing or ice skating and they don't kiss other people, they they kiss each other. You know what? I'm starting to think you and Eric don't love each other very uh, much. You know what? I gotta go. I've been down here longer than I said I'd be and he doesn't like that. Who? Uh, my boyfriend. Eric. Yeah. Who you love. Yeah. Very much. Yeah. Even though you just kissed me. Yes. Wow. I'm gonna have to talk to my brother Rob about this. Um, no, don't talk to your brother Rob about this. Um, uh, tell him to stop teaching you. What? Whatever he's teaching you, it isn't something you want to know. But, but I have to learn from him. No, listen, I was gonna be a nurse, so. You no, know, I know, you don't need your brother reading whatever it is he reads. You need a doctor. But you know what? I gotta go. Right. You gotta go. You're leaving. No, it's just. Yeah. Listen, I told you, you know, Eric. Your boyfriend. Yeah. He doesn't like it when I'm down here longer than I said I'd be. And I've been down here longer than I said I'd be. Ah!
Ow. Oh my God. Oh my Ow. God. I can't believe I did that to you again. Ow. Oh, are you okay here? Let me help. Ow. Uh, Oh, Ow. Oh. Ow. What did you say? Ow. talking about I don't want it anymore what I've made a decision we're done what we're done I've decided and so I brought all the love you gave to me back to you because it's the right thing to do uh I, I don't I don't I, I don't understand. I've got yours in the car you said well I can get it for you or you can get it well, I don't want it back. Oh, well, I don't want it. And what am I supposed to do with it now that I don't want it? Well, I don't know. Well, under the circumstances, it doesn't seem right for me to keep it, so I'm going to go get it. Under what circumstances? Gail, I, I don't understand. I, what are you doing? I told you, I'm getting all the love you gave to me, and I'm giving it back to you. Well, what if I don't... Whoa. Uh, do, do you need help? Nope, I got it. It's not heavy. Uh, and, and this is... All the love you gave me, yep. Wow. It's a lot. Yep. Oh, a lot. Yep. Jeez. I, and now? I mean, what the heck am I going to do with all this? I, I don't know if I have room. Well, I guess you're going to have to find a place for it, won't you? And now, I think it's only fair that since I gave you yours back, that I get mine back. Because I want it back. So go get it. Lando, go get it. Please. Now. Okay. Uh, uh, here. What is that? That's, that's all the love you gave me. And then, no, that, that is not, I, I mean, there's no way that, that really all I gave you? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um. Why don't Why don't you take a look and see? No. What, what's wrong? No. No, I told them. Uh, why do you keep saying that? Because. Do you remember? when I asked you if you ever thought we were going to get married. Do you remember that? In December, it was snowing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So when I asked you that, you got so quiet. And everybody told me right there. She told me everything. Everybody, everybody who? Yeah, everybody. Oh. Marvelin. Mar yeah. Mar Marvelin. Yeah. Said that's how quiet you got was all I needed to know. And she's right. You don't love me. What? Yes. And so I tried to fix that. I tried to make you love me by giving you every bit of love I had. And I don't have any love for me left. 
and that's not good for a person. So I want the love I gave you back because I want to bring it with me. Where are you going? I need to get away from things. What things? There aren't any things in this town to get away from. Yes, there are you. Yes, you you are the things in this town I need to get away from because I have to think and start over. And so all the love I gave you, I want it back in case I need it because I can't very well go around giving your love because that's all the ha love I have right now is the love you gave me and I can't very well go around giving that to other guys. So... <sighs> Are there other guys? There are other guys? No, not yet, but I'm assuming there will be. No. Shush, shush, shush. And so now that we know that you're not ready for what comes next for people who've been together for quite a long time, I think we're going to be done. And Why? So I, think, I think we should just return what we gave to each other. Even. Oh, oh, geez, I'm bro, it's not really even, is it? I mean, is that all the love I gave you? I mean, I mean, what kind of person am I if that's all the love? No, 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 no. I know I gave you more than that, Lendl. I know it. Did, did you lose it? No. Did you lose it, Lendl? Because no. I know no. I gave you more than that. And, and I think you're pulling something on me, and this is not a good time to be pulling on me I'm not I'm, I'm not pu pulling something on you I wouldn't do that to you I just I think gosh, I guess maybe you should just take what you came for and I, I guess I'll see you later Lenzel wait what Lendl, what is this? It's a ring, Gail. But I don't under... It's, it's a ring. Wait, Lendl, is, the, is this a ring? Like, like the kind of ring that you give someone you've been with for, for quite a long time when you want to let them know that you're ready for a complex because we've been together for quite a long time? Yeah. Oh, but all the love I gave you, right where there. is... But it's right there. But it is. It's all, it's all there. <laughs> you gave me so much over the years. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. Years. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, <laughs> there was so much of it coming in. I, I mean, I didn't know where to put it. I, I had put some in the garage and then some in the shed. And by the time we were talking about if we were ever going to get married, I mean, there was more than ever coming in. And, and I talked to my dad and he said, all well, son, did you get a ring yet? And, and I said, no. And, and he said, well, you should get a ring. When there's that much of that stuff coming in, that's about the only place you can put it. And he'd say it, it all fit. And and he was right. That that thing is a lot better than it looks. Uh, so that's all the love you gave me, just not in the same form as when you gave it. Yeah. Do, do, you, do you still want it back? Yes, I do. Well then, take it. Can I keep all that? It's yours. Thank you. Wendell, you didn't get me ring that, that, that that's not it's what I was asking. It's, it's way past time and, and it's honorable. Well, it's very beautiful. Wendell, I'm so sorry. It's just, I was at Sandrine's bachelorette party and her and Martin are getting married already, already. And that got me thinking about us. And then I talked to Marvelin and- He quiets her with a kiss.
just be quiet. I don't leave yet. I'm just saying. It was bad, Chad. Bad. You're not listening. No, you're not listening. Chad, it was bad. No, I'm trying to tell you how to create that time myself. Really? Yeah. Real bad, Randy. It's worse than mine. It's real bad. Real bad. Okay. Go. He said that she didn't like the way. What? Sally, she said that she didn't like the way. No, she never had. Sally Dunlevy told you that she didn't like the way you smelled? Yeah. When? Wait. So she gets in my car and then she just starts hopping and breathing all heavy. And then she says that she's sorry, but she can't go out with me because she doesn't like the last night. Never have. What? Yeah. So she thought she could overlook it the way that I smelled, but that wasn't going to be possible after all. So she slams the door on me and just leaves me sitting down her driveway. Because she didn't like the way you smelled. Yeah. Well, what kind of... I don't mind the way you smell. Thanks. Jeez. Well, I guess I'm not making you a big winner tonight. So I get hit and I see the club. So rolling, a couple of snowmobile club, a couple of root beers at the meat fatty, just hang out, you know? I didn't say you're the big winner. What? Did I say you're the big winner? No, but... No, all that's pretty bad, Chad, and sad, but you didn't win. You can be being told that you smell bad. Yeah. Okay. Go. Mine's Facebook. What? What? Facebook. Her, her face. Yeah. He broke her... How did her face break? We were dancing. Dancing? Yeah. Why were you dancing? Because it's what she wanted to do on our date. So I took her. I took her dancing down to the rec center. <laughs> dance all night long. You pay, then you get a lesson, then you dance all night. They teach, like, together dancing, how to dance together. And we learned that thing where, you know, you throw the girl up and over. But, well, she was pretty small. And I'm pretty strong. And I threw her up and over, but I threw her over, over, and she landed on her face. And it broke. Had to take her to the emergency room. 38 miles. And she cried. Oh, you hate that. Whole way. Then asked me to call her old boyfriend to come pick her up. Yeah, he uh -oh. did. Ask me to please leave. He's small as she is. Huh. I'm sorry. That's that's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. And sad. Yep. You know, I think that right here might make you the big winner of all time. Yep. Daddy State guy of all time. Yep. Congratulations. Thank you. Hi. So, what do you pick tomorrow? Hmm. You know, bowling, supper at the snowmobile club, a couple of root beers at the moose patty, hang out. Yeah. What? I don't like going out with these girls. I hate it. I mean, why do I want to spend my Friday night with some girl I might maybe like when I could be spending it with someone I know I like, like you, you know? Yeah. And it's like, in the middle of the summer, you know, you didn't like the way I smelled. I just, I got really sad because it's like, well, not much that really makes sense or makes me feel good. And there's got to be something in the world that makes sense or at least makes it feel a little good. Otherwise, what's the point, right? Yeah. 
I don't know. I came out of the inside. Because I realized that there is one thing that makes sense and that gives me to feel good. And it's you. Well, I got a head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got a long day at work tomorrow. Um, well, I mean, I got first shift of the mill, so I can take it anytime after three. Well, I, I don't know, Chad. I mean, me and Linda, we got a long day tomorrow. I mean, yeah. we got to fix up all those roofs from the snow in December. You know, we yeah, got to so the and We can do like four or five, like whatever work. I don't know. Six or seven. Know. Honestly, I don't care. You just got to let me know when you're free, and I can do up whatever. It's hey, hey, no problem. Hey, hey, hey. I'll see you around. Yeah. Hey, Brandy! Whoa, Chad, are you okay? What? You okay? No, 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 no. I just, I just. What was that? What, what was that? I, ju I just fell. Well, I figured that out. No, no, I mean, I, I just fell in love with you there, Randy. Chad, what are you, what are you talking Chad, are you okay? Uh, yeah, oh. that's what that was. That's what that was. That's me. Chad, what I'm are you doing? I'm in love with you. What are you doing here? I just. I can't, I can't help it. Would you cut that out? What's wrong with you? I can't help it, I'm falling in love with you, Randy. Chad, you're my best buddy in the whole world. And I don't know what you're going on about or what you're doing, but, well, what the heck is your problem? What the heck are you doing? Jesus I'm crow, you're my best friend. Yeah. Yeah, and that's something you don't mess with, and you mess with, and you don't do that. Because you know something? You're about the only thing that makes me feel really good or, or makes any sense in this world to me, too. And now you go foul it up by doing this and telling me that, and, and it doesn't make any sense at all, and it doesn't feel good. You've done a real number on a good thing here, buddy, because we're friends. There's a line when you're friends that you can't cross, and you crossed it. What? It still feels like you're mad. Not mad. I just, I just said that I wish that you would pay more attention lately. I'm not mad. I, I had fun tonight. Skating. I, I thought it would be fun. I had fun. Did you? Yeah. Good. I mean, I was late. Dad called me into the mill. I need to work. I need the hours. You had to work. I get it, Phil. I'm not mad about you working. You did. Phil, where's my shoe? What? Where's my shoe? I can't find it. Where did you... Where did you well, it's got to be here. Where is it? Is this you being funny? No. Because it's not funny. I never said it was. It's cold out here. You're the one that wanted to go skating. Phil. It's got to be here. I'm not mad. I was never mad. I am. Um, I was disappointed, but now I am done. I, I had fun tonight, okay? I had fun tonight skating. I, I thought it would be fun to, to get us out and, and to get us away from the kids and, and to get us back to where we used to be. 
We went skating. First time you kissed me. Remember? On a Friday night just like this one? Right here. Echo Pond? I know where we are. All right. Can, can we please find your shoe? Where did you put it on? Out here in the car? I put my shoes on right here with you. Well, it, it's not in the car. Oh, sh shooting star, shooting star. Where? Sh I'm wishing, I'm wishing. I missed it. Yeah, you did. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, um, nothing, it's just done. Not really all that surprising. What? That you missed it. What? The shooting star. Why? You don't pay attention, Phil. See, when you say things like that, I feel like you're still mad. I'm not mad. God, where is my shoe? And you know what? Maybe, maybe it is in the car, right? I mean, it's just, it, it doesn't make sense because I have one shoe on out there and I, I know I changed my shoes out there with you, didn't I, Phil? Phil, I, I changed out there with you, didn't I? And it's just not there. This is the weirdest thing. Well, um, it's not in the car. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, why would I have one shoe out here and one shoe out in the car? And it just... What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I, I, was, I, I was just wishing on, on, on my own star, on a regular one. Oh. Do you want to wish on it with me? Yeah. Yeah, that, that'd be nice. Um, which one? You see uh, Hedgehog Mountain? Uh-huh. Straight up, right, right above it. The bright one? Yeah. Um, that one? Yeah. Right there? Yeah. Bill? Yeah? That's a planet? What? That's, that's a planet you're wishing on a planet. How do you, how do you... Yeah, and um, and it's uh, when you wish upon a star, not when you wish upon a planet or Saturn. Uh, I know. I know. How, how do you know that that, that that's a planet? I... Been saying on the weather, Phil. You know, Saturn's going to be the brightest object in the sky this month, sitting right above Hedgehog Mountain for the next bunch of weeks, and uh, they've been saying it on the weather all week. And your wish is never going to come true if you're wishing on a planet. Well, you just gotta pay attention, Phil. Why do you keep saying that? What? But I gotta pay attention. Because you don't. What are you talking about? Phil, happy anniversary. What? Happy anniversary that's what i'm talking about um, i knew you i knew you were still mad i'm not mad you were mad at me and pretty soon out of nowhere it's gonna get ugly bill i'm not mad i'm i'm sorry all right i gotta work at the mill when chad needs me he's helping me uh, us out, you know. At, at, no, at, no. no, you don't know. M me is working for us and the kids, and it's a lot, and it gets to me sometimes. Bill, I'm not, I'm not mad about you working. You gotta work. I understand that. What I, what I don't understand, Phil, is why I'm lonely. I got a husband and a couple of great kids, and I'm lonely. 
you just you you don't pay attention anymore you, you go away and, and you go somewhere where you can forget things and you forget missy's birthday you forget your son's first varsity hockey game and you awesome. forgot your own anniversary i mean i brought you here hoping that you would remember about us and you didn't and that makes me so mad i i don't know what to do anymore You lie. What? You lie so bad. What? You're mad at me, but you don't tell me. Even when I ask you over and over. You don't pay attention even if I did tell you. Because you don't know how to tell me how to feel. So I don't know where I am, where I stand. Maybe that's why I go away. So I know where I am for a second. And you know what? It's lonely there too where I go. And you sent me there. Yeah, you went away a long time before I did. Now all you do is lie. I don't lie. Yes, yes you do. You say you're not mad, but you're mad. You say you had fun tonight, but you didn't. You didn't have fun tonight, did you? No. Yeah, but you kept saying you did. I didn't. I didn't have fun with you, Bill. I don't have fun with you anymore. Did you? No, no, I had a rotten, lousy time. Well then, what are we doing here? What are we waiting for? A shoe that looks exactly like Marcy's other shoe drops from the sky, right between Marcy and Phil. This is the house. I'm sorry, I'm looking for Daniel Harding. Do you know I'm looking for Daniel Harding? He lives here. You're looking for looking for Daniel Harding. Yeah. I mean he lives here. I, I thought. <laughs> but um Oh he doesn't, does he? Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> God, I am so embarrassed. Um, who is this woman and what is she doing here? <laughs> I um, I just honestly thought he'd be here. You know, I always thought he'd be here. Always. Uh, uh, do you know him? You know, he's a big guy, a big, a strong guy. You know, he wrestled the heavyweight, all Eastern name, strong. Uh, uh, do you know him? Oh, sorry, don't even answer that. <laughs> I know, I know, that's a horrible question to ask somebody who lives in a small town. God, I can't believe I asked that because, you know, I don't live here anymore, but, you know, when I did, I hated it when people assumed that I knew everybody else in town just because it was small. You know, it was worse than when they asked if we had a plumbing way up there because, 
I mean, you know, people in small towns really don't know each other any better than they do in big towns. I mean, you know that? Because you know who you know, and you know, you don't know who you don't know, just like anywhere else. I am, I am so sorry to have bothered you, it's just, you know, when his parents died, he kept the house, I heard. Yeah, you know, he lived here. He, he stayed here. But I thought, if he was one of the ones who stayed, I, um, I didn't stay. Either way. Most people do. Yeah. And I guess he did too. <laughs> I, I I guess I lost track. I never thought he would. Uh, you know, I wish there was, uh, you know, some place you could keep him when you needed him. Like, oh, look, there he is. Perfect. <clears throat> oh, uh, boy, <laughs> it's cold. No, I forgot. Yeah. You know, I can't believe. <laughs> you know, I took a taxi here from Bangor to see him. That's far. Yeah. That's 163 miles. Yeah. This place is um, a little farther away from things. Why'd you do that? Uh, because I can only fly as close as Bangor and you know, I needed to get to him as fast as I could. Why? Um, because I wanted to answer a question he asked me. Oh? The last time I saw him, he asked me a very important question, and, you know, I didn't answer it. And that's just not a very easy thing to do, of course. But well, you're being a little hard on yourself, don't you think? Like he asked me to marry him. Oh. And you... I didn't answer him. Yeah, yeah, and you know that's why I'm here. Answer him. <laughs> I mean, I didn't answer him in the first place because I didn't have an answer. I mean, you know, I was going to college, and then, you know, the night before I'm about to go off into the world and do what I hope and dream, he asked me, you know, will you marry me? I mean, come on, I was leaving in the morning. What was I supposed to do? I don't know. I mean, I told him that, you know, I'd have to think about it. That I, I'd think it overnight and I'd be back before the sun came up with an answer. And then I left. Left him standing right. I didn't come back with an answer before the sun came up. Before. That sounds like an answer to me. Uh, no, that wasn't my answer. I just went off into the world, and that's not an answer. And you know, I think that. What? I think you'd thought I'd say yes. Well, a guy's probably not going to ask a girl that question unless he thinks she's going to say yes. No, and you know, I'm afraid he probably waited up all night just you know, hoping for me to come by and and I just want to tell him that, you know, I know now that you know you can't do a thing like not answer a question like the one he asked me. I mean you can't do that to a person, especially to someone you love. You loved him? I, I don't know if I mean we were kids. But yeah, I do. I do. I, I feel like we dashed his hopes and dreams. Come on, you give yourself too much credit. I mean, he was young. That's all you need to get your hopes dashed. Be young. And Everybody starts off young, so everybody gets their hopes dashed. 
And besides, it's not like you dash the soaps. Because if you dash so many soaps, that's kind of a, a nice way to do it. Because it hurts, but it's quick. If you had said no, that would have been dashing his hopes. But you didn't say no. You said nothing. You just didn't answer him at all. And that's killing hope. The long, slow, painful way. Because it's still there, just hanging on. never really goes away. And that's kind of like giving somebody a little less air to breathe every single day until they die. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. For what? I don't know. Goodbye, Hope. Bye. I'm so sorry to have bothered you. It's just, you know, I was alone out there in the world and, and I had no place in it. And, and I just, um, I. You just called me Hope. How did you know my name? Uh, uh Danny! Hello, Hope. Uh, uh Danny, hi! Uh, I, I, I didn't even recognize you. I know. I mean, I mean, you're so no. small. Yeah. I, uh, I lost a lot of hope, but I'll do a number on you. Danny, I'm so sorry. Shh, shh. Hey, hey, it's, it's okay. Cause you know something, you're early. What? You're early, I mean, you said you'd come back with an answer to my question before the sun came up. And geez, and crow, the sun only went down a couple hours ago. <laughs> Look at how early you are. That's good of you. So a taxi away from Bangor, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Han, Dan, Han, who's there? Han? Oh, um, somebody who needs directions. Awful late for directions. Yeah, listen, Suzette. I'll be right in. Okay. I... What? I hope you find it, Hope. What you're looking for. Your place in this world. Bye. Bye, baby. Yes. Yes. side of the stage. This is miraculous. Pete then non-verbally asks, using the snowball, if she's been all the way around the world. Jeanette nods yes. She's close again. Pete wonders how this can be true. The northern lights appear. Jeanette and Pete take them in. They're awesome. They look up and out at the northern lights. And it all begins again.
This concludes our live program of Almost Maine. Thank you so much for watching.